the middle of every difficulty lies an opportunity, or so Albert Einstein once said. You know, we all have situations in our lives that at one point might bring us to our knees. So how do you turn lemons into lemonade and triumph over your tragedy? Well, here's how I did it. I took my worst nightmare and I turned it in a way to help others. My beloved home that was once featured on MTV Cribs was found to have toxic mold growing between the walls. Our dream home was slowly killing us. Now, I've been teaching group fitness classes since 1980 and was once named Detroit's most physical female, so I should have been the walking poster child for health and fitness. But instead, I was plagued almost daily with debilitating migraines and chronic fatigue. 10 minutes into the exercise classes I was instructing, it felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. I just couldn't get enough air and I was scared. I knew that something was terribly wrong. Our son Rocco was sick with constant allergies, anemia, and severe asthma. My husband had similar symptoms to mine like headaches, chronic fatigue, and terrible insomnia. And you know, doctors told us we were just too busy, which of course is true. Who isn't busy? So we ignored the blatant message our bodies were sending us and we just chalked it up to being overworked. Well, although we never saw it, we found out that yeah, our home was contaminated with toxic mold and the air circulating throughout the home became a slow killer. I remember going to a toxicologist and he said that both my husband and I, after being tested, had four different types of mold in our bloodstream and diagnosed me, Detroit's most physical female, with having pre-emphysema. The doctor took, a, took out his little prescription pad, I'll never forget this, and he wrote the words, get out of the house. And we did. We left our beloved home, a beautiful 5,000 square foot home that stood majestically overlooking a beautiful lake with ducks and geese. It was a place that we had so many memories. We left all of my husband's guitar memorabilia, our son's baby pictures, which was worse, and we left without anything. We walked out with just the clothes on our backs and then we got rid of those. Although there are thousands of types of mold species, there are several types of mold spores that can destroy your home and your health, like Stachybotrys. More on that later. If it's left to spread throughout the ventilation system in your home and office, it can cause devastating health problems. Sadly, I became the mold expert, not something that I thought I'd ever be doing, but you know, 15 years ago, I was dying. I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs if my life depended on it. Fortunately, the human body has an amazing ability to heal and I'm living proof. After a year of detoxifying my body with functional medicine like vitamin IV, infrared sauna, and oxygen, I'm well and I'm here to tell you all about it. That's how I turned my tragedy into a triumph. But I want to hear from you. How did you turn something negative in your life into something positive. How did you take those lemons and turn it into lemonade? I ended up becoming a Zumba fitness presenter and traveled all over the world sharing my passion for healthy living with others. And you know, had I not been ill, I may not have taken that opportunity. But you know, when you lose your health and you're lucky enough to get it back, it just makes you realize that you have to open every door. Every opportunity comes your way for a reason. That's what I think. So tell me all about you and how you turned your tragedy into something positive. I'm Shemaine Nugent and I'm so glad you're here. Please subscribe and remember, don't ever dull your shine.